Welcome back to Just Scribble. Today I am going to talk to you about the Twisby Mini, and in particular the mint blue colored Twisby Mini that came out recently. I received mine a while back from Birmingham Pen Company, and I haven't opened it or filled it up yet, so I was going to do that with you, and also sample the ink that I chose that came free with it when I bought the pen and also sample the ink that I'm going to fill it with so you can see those colors nicely and do a quick little comparison of the Twisby Mini to the VAC Mini, the Pereira from Pilot, and the Lacool from Sailor. <clears throat> so let's get started. We will start with the ink samples so that they have a little bit of time to dry. So I stamped little ink bottles to swatch these into just so that you guys could see them easily and wrote their names out. But the ink that I got free from Birmingham is Bob Prince Green Weenie. Um, and on the side of their bottles, it always tells a story that talks about the name and where the name came from. So it talks about um, a hot dog actually that was known as the green weenie. So that's the color I picked. I did not pick this color because I thought it would be a color that I would put into this pen in particular. I picked it because it's a color of ink that I don't have a lot of in my collection of inks. And so I wanted to get something different. I like Birmingham inks a lot. One of my favorite inks of all time, which is purple, Andy Warhol purple, is from Birmingham. Oops, I dropped that on the side. And I I just think the colors are really pretty and I think it's fun how they come up with the stories and the fact that they're handmade is very nice. So that is the Bob Prince Green Weenie. It very much looks like some green relish we can get at this Chicago hot dog. Place here in San Antonio actually. I'm going to put that in the box real quick and then I'm going to open up the other ink and show it to you. So this is the ink that I have chosen to put into the mint blue Twisby Mini. It is from J. Herbin. I like a lot of J. Herbin's inks but their black ink is my favorite black ink other than platinum carbon black. So if I don't want to use um, the carbon ink in one of my pens, I use the J. Herbin black. It is very, very black. It dries very quickly. It stays dark. I just really, really like it. And I have a couple other inks from them that I like, including Diablo Menthe, but it is more blue toned. And this pen, although being called blue, is a more green toned pen. So I'm thinking that this ink is going to be a very good color match for it. And so this is the one that we're going to put on. Oh, I didn't mention the name, did I? So it's J. Herbin Vert Rosetta, or Reseda. Let me get my little swatcher back. And so I'm just going to lay that down on there so you can see. I think it's super pretty. This is a Tomo River um notepad so i am doing it on tomo river which will show the best shading or sheening that an ink has and so that's what i'm using to sample it on so you can see so those are the two inks and now i'm going to compare the pens and then we're going to fill it and we'll be done so whenever you get your twisby pens they come in a box most of them come in this cardboard box. And then inside that, there is a little guide that talks about the pen and a little instruction guide on how to take the pen apart and where to put silicone grease if and when it needs it. Move the box out of the way. And then it comes in this little clear box, which has tape on both sides. So we're gonna remove the tape fairly quickly and get to the pen. So you can see on the bottom, it shows a picture of the pen and it talks about the name of the particular model that you bought and the size nib. I got this pen in the 1.1 stub nib, 
That is generally my go-to nib size from a Twisby. I really like their stubs. I like stubs in general. They make your handwriting automatically look a little bit nicer, in my opinion. And in these smaller pens, the stub is a little smaller because the nib itself that it's made out of is smaller. And so I like the line variation I get, but it's not too broad for my writing. So this beautiful pen is the Mint Blue Twisby Mini. You can see it says Mini right there. And this is a small pen. It is the same size as my Gold Mini, which is what I carry with my passport almost every day as my wallet so that I have a pen with me. You can see that these are the same size pen. They fit, this is my Jitney Red passport that I'm carrying right now. So they fit perfectly. So they're a nice small pen to go with a passport notebook, but they work with larger notebooks too. It is still, although small, comfortable enough in my hands. I do have larger hands. It is still comfortable enough in my hands to write for some time but it can be posted and is designed to do that, which some of the Twisbees are not actually designed to be posted, although people do post them, so that you get a full length pen for longer writing sessions. I don't generally use this particular pen for longer writing sessions, since the only one I own is my gold one, and it's my everyday carry pen for notes and things like that. But I do have the VAC Mini from Twisby, which is one of my favorite fountain pens of all time. And it is larger, turn on the right way. It is larger in size than the Twisby Mini. Set him there, hopefully he doesn't roll off. So you'll see unposted, it is quite a bit larger actually, where this pen is actually comfortable for me to write um, for long periods of time without posting it. But like the Mini, the VAC Mini also posts. And so it has a little screw feature at the bottom so your cap goes on it. And you can see that it's a little bit longer when posted than that. The VAC pen is a different pen to fill than the Mini. It is a vacuum, not a piston filler. And so that means, and I'll do this on a video soon when I run out of ink and need to, um, I'll do a video showing how the vacs fill because I have the full size vac with the 700 also. But basically this bottom part, instead of twisting it to pull and, and push ink into the barrel, you actually pull it out like a plunger and push it in. And when you push it in, it sucks the ink into the pen. And so that's kind of how it fills. And they have specific ink wells that are designed for the VAC pens that make that process even easier and completely mess free. The one benefit besides it being slightly larger, which for me works for long-term writing of the VAC Mini, is that the end of it screws closed so that any ink that is in your nib is all the ink you have to write with. And this is sealed off. So if you're traveling or flying or whatever, the, um, the ink can't come out of the pen and there's no risk of leaks or ink blobbing out when you get back off of an airplane. And then you can actually write for quite some time, usually about a whole page worth um, with what's reserved in there. But then to release the ink, you just turn the back and open it up so that the flow continues back. So that's just a little bit about the mini the VAC Mini, sorry. So there are other small fountain pens similar in size that to the Twisby Mini. One is the Pilot Pereira, and as you can see, they are very similar in size. And the other is the Sailor Lacoule, and they are all super close in size. The Mini Twisby Mini is a little bit wider in diameter, but the main difference between these two and this one and why I prefer to carry this with me in my bags and in my purse is that this holds more ink, quite a bit more ink. If you're familiar with pilot converters, they're not all that great for filling. And I'll do a video soon on that just to show you. But also 
they don't hold very much. And the Sailor the same way, they just don't hold as much ink as the Twisby Mini. But the other reason is that these two pens tend to burp ink more, as you can see in the top of my Sailor, when they're moved around and jostled around. And so in a normal situation, when you're at your desk or at home, you can keep your pens laid horizontally or upright, whichever way you prefer, so that your fountain pens um, stay nice and still for the most part. And when you carry them in a bag, like in a pen roll or something like that, you can keep them face up. But when I'm putting one with my wallet, it's just getting tossed in and out of my bag and grabbed all the time. And so it gets shaken a lot. And this pen does not burp ink into the lid when it does that. And as a result, it doesn't get ink all over the nib and the, and the part where your finger goes right here. And so your pen stays cleaner. The other reason is that these two pens, the ink doesn't seal off as well, so it tends to evaporate. So it holds less to start with, plus it disappears faster, and it's very annoying to be out and about, and you need to make a list or write something down real quick, and you go to grab your pen, and it won't write because you've run out of ink. Um, these are also very consistent. I don't have problems with these pens starting, if I even if I haven't written with them for a very long time. So that is the little comparison to these other three smaller pens, the Twisby Vac Mini, the Sailor Lecule, the Pilot Pereira. And so this is the Twisby Mini that we are working with right now. And I am real quick going to just show you the size difference between it and a 580 and the Twisby Eco, just because some of you may not have any of these mini pens. And so the size comparison may not be all that helpful to you. So let me grab that real quick. And I will show that to you just so that you have a good sense of the size of this pen. And if it's something that you might be interested in, because I absolutely love this pen. Okay, I'm back. So I'm going to show it in comparison to these three other Twisby pens that are the most common, I think, for people to have. So this is the Mini. This is a 580. And so, let's scoot him down. You can see how much smaller the Mini is from the 580. I will say I have a couple of 580s, and although I like them, they are not my favorite Twisby pen. I don't think their stub nibs work as well for me. I've had more... Um, Frustrations, I guess you could say, hard starts with some of their stub nibs. So I'm going to have to tinker with them some. But more, it is just the size and the weight. They aren't as balanced for me. I don't post my pens, generally speaking. Um, sometimes I will post my Vac Mini if I'm writing for a very long time with it. But normally, it's actually large enough for me to write long term without posting. And so I do not post this pen which um, keeps it shorter and not as heavy, but I just don't find the weight as nice for long-term writing sessions as I do my Vac Mini or my Eco. So that's just my personal thing, but that is the size difference. This is the Twisby Go, which is a clipless pen. It is completely different to fill than other pens. If you guys are interested, post a comment and I will do a video on the Twisby Go showing how it fills and my thoughts on this pen. I have a few of them, but that is the size difference with the cap on to the Go. And I'm going to, if you looked at this pen comparison that I'm doing, you'd think all my pens are blue and actually I have very few blue pens. I just thought comparing blues to blues would be nice. So that is the size comparison without the lid. I guess you might want to see the same thing for the 580. So that is the size difference. All right, and then this is the Eco, which is one of the most popular Twisby pens because it is their economy or economical um, line. It is least expensive, comes in lots of colors and limited edition colors, and it is easy to use and fun and everyone seems to really enjoy them. So this is, let me cap this real quick. This is the capped size difference between the Eco and the Mini. So you can see it's quite a bit smaller. And this is the uncapped difference. 
Now, the Eco and the 580 aren't that different in size, that much different in size, but the weight of the Eco is more comfortable for me long term because the size of the pen is larger. So, personal thing. So, our inks are almost dry. I got them a little bit wet, but you can see that pretty, pretty green color of the green, green weenie. And then the Reseda is really, really pretty, and I think it is actually a very good color match. I would definitely, personally, would not want anything this light or pale in my pen because it's hard to write with. And so I think the tones are right, and I think it's a pretty color that I don't have currently in my collection. So, I am going to ink up this pen and show you guys how it writes. So this is a piston pen, so twisting the back moves this plunger up and down. So you can see that, right? So when you twist it clockwise, it pulls the piston this way and it sucks ink or water up into it. And when you turn it counterclockwise, it pushes it back out. So the first thing I'm going to do because it's a new pen is I'm going to flush it. So I'm putting it into some water and I normally do this over the sink, but not on the video and just two or three times I twist and then twist the other way to suck water up into it and then push the water back out. And that is it, that flushes it. There are some pens, like some Noodler pens and a couple other pens that need a little more flushing and I would use a flush that I have like from Goulet pens, but for these I found just water works perfectly fine. So I'm just drying it off a little bit just because it's wet and I'm gonna stick it in my bottle of ink. So I'm going to ink it directly from the bottle, but you do have other options with Twisbees. And I should show that to you because you guys might wanna see it sometime and I can show you. They do have ink wells where if you have a color of ink that you use all the time in your Twisby and you just run through the ink writing all the time and you're always refilling it, you can actually pour the bottle of ink into here and you can fill from this. And there's two ways you can fill it in with this little clear um, little inkwell piece like you would directly out of a bottle or there's actually an alternate way where you can unscrew part of the pen and stick it onto here and then you can suck the ink up and then you put the pen back together. So if you guys are interested, I can do a video on that sometime as well. But this one, we don't want the get video to get too long and this is the only pen I'm putting this ink in, so I'm not going to, to fill it with that, but maybe with a different color, we could test it out. So I'm going to, the piston is all the way down, so the plunger part is all the way down here, so that when I turn, it's gonna suck the ink back up in here. So all I'm gonna do is put it nib down, just so that the nib is covered. You don't have to stick the pen all the way down here. Just make sure that the nib is covered, and I'm gonna stick it in there, and I try to keep it kind of centered in the bottle, just so that I don't get ink all over my pen and my fingers. And now the pen is full. So I am going to lay it here for a second. Always put my lid back on my ink before I do anything because otherwise I knock it over. It's just always what happens. So you notice if I rub this, there's nothing on the outside of the pen that's coming off. I can rub the nib and get ink off because it's inked and that's normal. This is the only spot of ink I have on my finger, and that is actually because I touched the outside rim of the bottle when I was moving it. If I had not, then I would have had zero ink on my fingers from inking this up, which is pretty nice. So now we're going to do a little writing sample, and then I'll let you guys be on your way so you can go shopping and buy one for yourself. I do not know if there are any more mint blue Twisby minis out there, but I'm sure that there are jet pens, Goulet pens, sometimes Vanessa pens, um, and Birmingham all have them or had them at one time, but there are also other ones. There's a clear one, there's black, there's different ones. And hopefully, I've been asking, hopefully they'll come out with some more soon. I'm really hoping for a rose gold. That's what I want. So this is the stub nib on this mini. It's very smooth, it's small, and it writes really pretty. 
I really like that. I may have to switch out to that pen out of my passport, but I probably won't do it till December because I feel like that looks kind of Christmassy, right? And this one is definitely very fall, especially since I have Robert Oster Campfire ink in it. So I figured I would show you this one. It is also a stub, but I actually have another nib for it, which I can show you how to switch out the nibs in another video in the Twisby 580 and the minis. It is very easy. To, so that is my gold, which I have Robert Oster Campfire ink in it. It is um, a very brown gold color and I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite inks. This is my back mini, which I love. It's also a stub. So those are my mini pens and how to fill my newest of the collection, which is my mint blue Twisby mini that I bought from Birmingham Pens. This is my ink that I got from them. I actually bought this ink off of Jet Pens, although most a lot of pen companies sell it as well. See, it does have some shading in there. So does my campfire ink. I hope you enjoyed this video that was comparing the Twisby mini pen to some other pens and showing you how to ink it and get it set up to use. I hope that you found this video informative and you learned a little bit something. If there is anything I talked about in the video that you have questions on, please feel free to post them below and I'll get back with you. If there are things I mentioned that I would video on, if you guys were interested and you are interested, just let me know and I will do that soon. I hope you have a great day and don't forget to just scribble.